there was a time when women were worshipped even by the gods in the form of Radha or Lakshmi. Hundreds of times women have sacrificed their lives in order to save the earth from demons. But today these demons are engulfing the love and prestige of our women and we are just onlookers. A very warm and pleasant morning to all of you. This is Aditi and today I stand here to present before you my views on the topic women empowerment. Time has changed. Centuries move like clouds in a clear sky. Women from having no voting rights are now successfully leading entire nations on their own. But one bitter truth of our society is that behind every successful woman today once was a man who tried to stop her, who tried to break her. India is a land of gods and goddesses. We even hail our own motherland as Bharat Mata, a female figure. But shamefully, today our own country has now become the fourth most dangerous place for females to reside in. What makes a India a dangerous country? According to me, there are two major problems in the development of women in our country. Let me explain you. The first reason, which is none other than the rotten mentality of men dominance in the society. Remember how three women stripped naked, paraded by a mob of hundreds and then allegedly gang raped in Manipur. The whole nation became an onlooker of such a heinous and horrible crime. The society, the state government, the central government, how can they even tolerate this? Disgusting, shameful. Today, the main question is not why women are still not empowered, but the biggest question today is why our own society, our own judicial system is failing again and again to save their own mothers, daughters and sisters. A country should simply be ashamed of itself. If it fails to give justice to the women or to the victims on time, to people with mentality who ask that girls should wear something decent, they should not wear skirts or something else. To people with such mentality, I want to say that skirts are not an invitation. Girls are raped in child whip, girls are raped in school uniform, women are raped in sarees. According to UNESCO, around 2500 brides are burned every year in India. An average of 49 cases of domestic violence are lodged every day in India. A rape case in 2019, a single rape case was lodged in every 16 minutes. I had once read in a book that human was an animal, but I still read every day in the newspaper that human is still an animal, a wild animal. Now moving towards the second reason, which according to me is women themselves. Think why men is morally degraded. He don't respect girls. He don't respect women because of the mothers. They don't teach their son to respect girls. They don't imbibe good values in their son. So how can we even expect refined behavior from a boy when a woman herself has ignored all the mistakes of her own son? behind the heinous crime of domestic violence or dowry abuse, a woman herself play a catalytic role in tormenting, in assaulting another woman. It is very rightly said that to awaken the people, it is the women who are to be awakened. Because once she is on a move, the family moves, the village moves, the entire nation moves. What we can do as a society is to promote women education, to promote girl education. It is sad that girls are being discriminated even in the education sector. The legal sector is also needed to be strengthened by improving the penalty system, improving the support system for the victims and faster legal proceedings. In a society where parents are very proudly teaching their own son saying, boys do not cry, why don't they teach their son? Boys do not make others cry, boys do not make girls cry. At last, I want to say that women empowerment is not just a concept. It is a revolution. It is a movement that requires the active participation of each one of us, regardless of our age or gender. 
So let us unite the effort to fight the heinous crime and lead to a future where our women, our daughters, our mothers feel safe, respected and empowered. Thank you.